thousand over there, which would get us five hundred thousand for this year. Molly, did I you get a copy? I'm making okay. I, I got plans. Does anyone have any questions about the spreadsheet? I know that's a lot of information, but for your information, if you have any questions, give me a call. I'll try my best to answer them. I don't have all the answers, but I'll find one somewhere. <laughs> if you come up, uh, if you see anything that now or after you've looked it over a little bit. Like I said, we are making some adjustments uh, on the new budget where we were over or under or whatever the situation might be. And we bought uh, two pieces of equipment that's coming to be, I believe. We bought, um, we bought a pickup and then we, we bought the, um, the small uh, excavator. I don't think it's, I don't think it's paid for here yet. I think it's paid for this month. So it's not appearing on here. It's about $198,000, $200,000, so they might say. So it will show up on this month. That one of those little track hole things? Yes. Yeah. Where they can clean ditches and. Well, it's a 320. Huh? Is that available for bar? Um, <laughs> we do rent along it. <laughs> but the rent's pretty high. Yeah. <laughs> the balance is pretty, is considerably lower. How much? 671. How much? 671. 671. That's after the. Now, the money from the receipt from October has not been transferred. Yes. Well, not from October, no. Right. No, not more. So we've got... I don't know how good they are. Really. They were down a little bit. Yeah. Well, I haven't yeah. seen the number, but I think they were down a little bit. I think they will be, too. Um, but we should be in a neighborhood. To That's the lowest we've been. Yeah. Yeah. Like you said, we bought... Those pieces of equipment, right. I don't like it. And um, I'm going to make a wild stab. Mm -hmm. It should be up somewhere between eight and nine hundred thousand once we get that money transferred over. In case y'all wonder what we're talking about, the daily uh, landfill receipts go into an account, and then uh, once a month. They're transferred over to Peggy's account, and this these numbers match up with Peggy, so it of course fluctuates during the month. And that's another reason that brings up item number two. Did anyone have any questions? On this? Okay, that brings up item number two. If you look at the other little handout, um, we have experienced it, it has history on there as far as our current shipping fees we're charging forty dollars and fifty cents plus tax for class one we're charging thirty two dollars in tax for class four and on asbestos we're charging sixty three dollars a ton plus tax for shipping fees this has not been raised basically Going back to 2016, I believe it was, when we closed out the year, the county had to transfer almost 800,000, I think it was, uh, over to get the landfill out of the red. And if y'all recall, the first two or three couple of years that Judge Bradfield was here, we managed to pay that back to the county general. Um, the fees have not been raised basically since January the 1st of uh, 2017. Now we, and at that time we had to raise it 550, <coughs> $5.50 per ton, trying to get us back on our feet. We'd had such, the, the previous two or three years before that had been down and we had to raise it uh, considerably. Called a little flat for it because that's a pretty big increase at one time, but, but we had no choice about it. And then the next year in January of 2018, 
we raised it another 50 cents per ton. So that results in the, the current shipping value. That's basically where that came from. Uh, if you notice down at the bottom part of the page in revenue history, the total revenue for 17, 18, 19 was running a little, usually around 3.6 million. I always like round numbers off the top of my head. I always, when I'm thinking about the landfill, I think, okay, we ought to do 3.6, which is 300,000 a month, and our expenses should be about 2.4, which is $200,000 a month, and then we'll we'll have margins of a million to million one or two. And for years, it kind of pretty well ran that way. But if you'll notice in 2020, which is pandemic, and the same thing with 2021 uh, projections, we were off about $200,000, almost $250,000 in 2020 versus 2019. Uh, we've lost population. The economy was, you all know the story, the uh, economy was not good. So we had a pretty uh, good, pretty drastic decrease. I took the numbers through the first nine months and sort of projected them out. And it appeared that we're going to be hitting pretty close to that figure again this year. So we're at 2.5 million now through the first nine months. And that projects out to about 3.4. So in talking with the judge, and, and um, that's the reason we're bringing it to the committee, and he recommends it, and uh, I recommend also that we look at a an increase on the tipping fee. Basically, it's been five years, uh, which everything's changed in five years. We all know that most everything has gone up. The amount that, that we're proposing is about a 5% increase. It's $2 a ton, and it's about a 5% increase to what we have been charging. And I can tell you now that we will get some flack over this. Uh, the mayors and, and everyone, you know, they have budgets too, and it puts some pressure back on them. But we have held off. The judge and I have talked about this over the last couple of years, and I talked with Michael about it. But we felt like under the situation we were in, as far as the pandemic, it was not a good time to raise any kind of rate if we could possibly get by without it. So we haven't proposed anything before. Uh, now we're to the point where we need to, to raise it. And the cities are in a better shape now because uh, they have received some extra federal money and so forth. And they have a little more freedom to put things in their budget and, and increase their budget a little bit if they need to and so forth. So I'd like to recommend this and propose it to the group and, and I'd like to have any discussion that anyone would like to add or have any comments about it? Well, I, I have a comment. Um, yeah. I did know that I was doing just a little bit of research while we were while you were talking, and it does appear that this area of the country, which um, you know includes like Arkansas, Louisiana, New Mexico, Oklahoma, and Texas, have some of the lowest tipping um, fees in the nation. Um, we are really right at the bottom of the average. Um, and most of those places did increase in 2018 and 19. Right. So I feel like, yeah, I mean, yeah, I feel like it's a good idea. Well, um, most of the other landfills around, like Paragool, I think Jonesboro, most of the others are tri-county uh, landfills. They have several that more of a regional thing. And, um, that gives them an advantage as far as spreading the cost and, and so forth. But we just cover Mississippi County. So we have to be sure that we do ours maybe a little bit different. There are maybe one or two around us that might be a little bit cheaper than us, but uh, we have to do what we need to do. 
Uh, and I think we're well within, I could say, we'll probably get a little blow back on it, but we're just doing our job. Well, and I don't, I don't know that this is fact, but I, I do believe some of those landfills, you actually have to show, like, you cannot be out of the district. You have to be in the district right. in order to, to dump there. That's not the case with ours, is it? No. The rule that, I don't know that it's a written rule, but the rule that we've always had is if it's picked up in the county, it's supposed to go into our landfill. We actually have an ordinance for that as We had a little problem a couple years ago about picking down the South Wind County, someone coming out of Christmas County and picking up and then hauling back oh, okay. to Christmas. And I just think there's still a little bit of that goes on maybe with Jonesboro, but not much. But um, that's our rule. That's, that's as Michael said, there's no ordinance to that effect. I assume just calculation of the two dollars is based on how many tons we took in and expected to make up that two hundred thousand dollar difference it won't quite make it up our tons is down a little bit it should probably i'm going to guess somewhere between a hundred and fifty and a hundred and eighty thousand dollars so it's close it's close we may get a little blowback from the cities but it won't be terrible and they expect us to remain viable and functional. They expect us to have a landfill there. Absolutely. And I think and that's, that's about an average increase. That's about a five percent. Yeah. Right. And that's three years that we didn't have an increase. Yeah. Well it's actually yeah. since before actually. Well you had an increase in two thousand eighteen. Yeah. It's been yeah. it's been January first. Yeah, this was eighteen this year. Nineteen twenty twenty one. Right. Okay. So does everybody pay the same? So you mentioned that with the cities. I thought at one time that like the city tear down or something, they have the different rates or something. It's class four, but that's only for houses that's gone through a certain process. But uh, yeah. it's not, uh, they have to meet a lot of, uh, of loopholes to get to take advantage of it. And it only goes to class four. Okay. Yeah. Where they're tearing the houses down, I'm sorry, that's a good question. Mm -hmm. I think at one time, I think we had, was there a discount or something for the tear down houses or something? Well, we had a request one time oh, okay. to, to have it, uh, a, a discount on it, but we thought that wasn't free. Now, if, if that was an individual, if, if it's uh, a municipality or something like that, there have been some, uh, a time or two, when, or a few mm -hmm. times when I just said there's a special circumstance. And twice, we do have twice a year, we have a, a free day, basically, where individuals can go down and clean up, clean up the county. One in the spring, one in the fall. We're fixing to end up with some inflationary times. Uh, this, is, this is not getting us really back to uh, 2018. We're still losing money, and we are losing uh, tonnage. So this is this move is just to try to get us close to uh, where we were when we first went up. Uh, we're in much better shape now than uh, than we have been. You know the the sale that we we just moved off from uh, we bonded that money and I think we've still got five year payments if I'm not mistaken. And the sale that we're in right now we pay cash for. So uh, we've done a lot of improvements to the. Uh, old class one that is closed now and uh, just like uh, Justice Burge was talking about that 250,000 in my mind anyway would go towards the next the new sale construction which we should be able to pay cash for before we get there and then hopefully this other 250,000 that we'll get in before the end of this year could go into a post closing CD that, that, that'll make up some of the cost that's behind us so and there's so many rules now and regulations that uh, a landfill could actually be insolvent long before that we find out about it. So that's just something right. that we want to make sure that we are progressing, not borrowing money. We just maintain the status quo. Uh, if, if we let it go and we didn't have these periodic 5% raises, then at some point when we find out we were in a bind, we would have to go up a lot. And then that would affect uh, people's individual household expenses. Their budgets to to, uh, uh, to get really way out of place. So we're just trying to we're trying to keep the status.
status quo from where we are right now. Right. It would be nice if they didn't have to go out, but I mean, I would think it's just how like everything else. I mean, mm -hmm. The price of most things is not the same as it was. And there's another expenditure out there. Uh, we don't have all the details on it yet. We've had a couple of railroads that have gone down that are going to have to be replaced. Um, so that's going to be a, an expenditure that's going to be coming up late fall, uh, possibly in the spring. I don't know what the schedule is on that. The engineers have been working on that. Let's have a problem with our system. It's one of our rail systems that could pose a major problem. So we know that there's there's always something. Landfills are not money makers. <laughs> <laughs> it's better if you can just break even and keep your head in front of water. Well, I make a motion that we increase the tipping fees by two dollars across the board. Two dollars a time. Do we have a second? Okay. Okay. Motion second. Any other discussion? If not, all in favor, aye. Aye. Any opposed? Motion carries. And uh, we'll make that effective. Uh, January 1st, that's how to get the way to give everybody uh, a month or so to, a couple months here to make the adjustments. Most of the cities have already got the plans out. I would make a recommendation, you know, this is just something you may not want to consider in the future. Because the cities are going to go this one to Kentucky, I realize the industry is, but maybe we should look at this in July of each year. Put a budget back. No, that way we can put it out before their budget because that may not go into effect till the first of the year. But if we see where we're at and we can allow them to add it into their budgets, then we might not catch as much flag. That's the point. We'll try to get them done more time next time. Okay, uh, does anyone else have anything to bring before this meeting? If not, then we will stand adjourned and Mr. Price.